Hi everybody, this is Dale. Welcome to Not Too Shabby Chic. Yes, I've been away again. Um, had some issues with um, medication um, that I decided to get my doctor to change and I was taking it at the wrong time of day and I just wanted to sleep all the time. I was, I guess, having depression and I didn't realize it. I didn't want to craft. I didn't really want to do anything. So, you know, I talked to the doctor and we said take it at night, not in the morning, and now I'm back to me again. So, here I am, and today I have some hashtag thrifted treasures. Yay! Um, I had to look to see which wedding dresses I showed in my last video because I got them mixed up. Um, I purchased another one since the last video that was at a thrift local thrift store called Gallatin Cares and I went in and I go there quite often and they had one hanging on the wall I didn't look at it to see if what it looked like I just knew it was a wedding dress and grabbed it five dollars guys but the problem is is I've already started cutting it up because I thought when I got ready to do it, that it was the one I got at Goodwill. And it wasn't. So, I'm going to show you remnants. <laughs> the remnants of this dress. Here are some of the appliques that I cut out of it. They've got the pearls. This one I've not cut completely out, but they're gorgeous little pieces so and I need to steam them or something because they're curling up on me aren't these gorgeous and of course you know they were all over the bodice of the dress so pretty and this was like at the around the bodice what is it connected to the big part <laughs> I don't know what that's called the skirt part here's some of the buttons and if you hear a loud sound my computer starts getting hot quickly I'm gonna have to take it in and it starts the fan starts blowing before I have it on hardly any so I apologize. Anyway, these are some of the appliques that I have. It took a long time to cut these out. As you can see, I cut away um, the fabric so that, that didn't show. And that was a booger. And I'm still working on it. So that's this group that I've already cut. And I cannot believe I got the dress for $5. <laughs> like oh thank you thank you thank you Jesus he blessed me um, this is let me show you see if I can because I've been like I said cutting it up this is part of the um, skirt part and it has all of this all the circles all the way around And then this piece kind of circles and, and runs up the, so the side of it. But you mostly have this kind at the bottom. The top had all the pearls. And this had this kind. Lots and lots of this. Um, I'm not doing it justice since I've already started cutting into it and you can't see oh here's a big another big piece that goes up look at this gorgeous and again these aren't the beaded part it was at the top the ones that I've shown you but these are still absolutely gorgeous I hope you can see them they're pretty 
I mean, wow. And then that kind of comes to a V right there. And it goes for a long time. And that's kind of the train that I just showed you. All of this part was, um, was kind of with the train. And then I got this piece of it. Some more. And again, I'm cutting it into pieces so I can cut it out. There's some of those. They're pretty. Yay! So excited. Love it. And they're a little bit of a booger, but they look like they've been um, machine stitched. But I get a seam ripper and try to rip the threads and not the appliques. And then this it was the hem is was whatever all around. Not beautiful. Lots and lots of this for days because it was real full. Gorgeous hem. Lots and lots of hem. Then I have more appliques. Some plain ones. And I've got a new setup. There's one of those that I cut out that I showed you that was on the skirt. Like this kind. And this was with the pearls. Isn't that gorgeous? I did pretty good for not knowing what I was doing. Because I've got wedding dresses, but I've just never cut them up. And so the story begins. Isn't that beautiful with the pearls? roses this is a big one Isn't that gorgeous 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 so just kind of do this quickly and I'm probably not doing it quickly there you go Gorgeous, and there's more, but I'm, I'm not going to keep dragging it out to show you because they all look the same, but there's tons of it. So, anyway, all of that five dollars, so that was definitely a score. Um, and as you can see here, welcome to my beautiful chaos. This was given to me by Pam Van E some time back, and as I'm cleaning up my craft room, I found it. <laughs> Flo came back from vacation, you know, she was buried, and this gorgeous pillow that you can barely see was one that my dear friend MJ sent me for my birthday, isn't that gorgeous? She's such a precious friend, uh, and of course Jovi gave me that, so um, my friend Jovi. Now, let's see what else I got. Someone gave me this for free, someone I've been working with to show how to Make journals, Greg Dictation Simplified. And this is copyright 1955. And looky, looky. I love, it's got the little typewriter. And little, they're like little lessons. Is that not cool? And the little graphics. I, I never learned this. They offered it when I was in school, and I didn't want to take it. I did take typing, thank the Lord. 
Um, but when I first started working back in the day and looking for a job, I wanted to be a secretary, and everybody wanted you to have shorthand. And I was like, I can't do shorthand. And then they moved from shorthand to sometimes shorthand or do transcription. And I did that a couple of times, but um, that's a pain. And of course, nowadays, you just don't have to do any of that. But shorthand would have been helpful even today in taking notes for things. And I don't, I'm too old to learn it. But this is so cool for journals. Look at that. Love it. So thank you to my friend Vicki Northway who gave me, gifted me this. So sweet of her and I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, trying to figure out what I've already shown you guys. This is an Abraham Lincoln book that it's uh, like a padded book but it has some of the most beautiful images. And this copyright is 2013, so it's not an old book, but look at some, some of the pictures. And his ancestors, the log cabin, it's got some great pictures throughout. One of my favorite things about it are family life. Let's see. Look at that, the cabinet card. Wouldn't you like to have that card? Oh, my Atlanta, that would be amazing. Um, one of the things I like about it, we're going to get to, is it has these pockets in it that I can use. Look, cool pockets, and you open this up. And inside are these copies of, this is um, the famous speech, I think, by the President of the United States of America, Proclamation. This has something, this isn't the famous one. It's talking about Arkansas, Texas, Louisiana. Probably when we purchased those. And there's his signature. It's a copy of that. So that's really cool. And then you've got um, passed unanimously. The union is dissolved. Love this picture. It's like a really cool card stock campaign club but every pocket has some cool memorabilia copies of it in each pocket and I could use the pockets in a big journal or uh, okay we'll, we'll worry about that later <laughs> but that's a cool cool and it's just hinged in and there are another one and it's got uh, the note from Colonel Avery Gettysburg address that's what I was thinking of theater playbill and a wanted poster I mean look at this it's just super cool it's a great book look at the gloves it's assassination There you go. Cool, cool. It came from Ollie's originally, which is, I don't know if anybody else has an Ollie's, but we have it here. But I got it at Goodwill. So I didn't pay $7 for it. I paid a dollar fifty. I can't remember. Um, then I got this trim at Hobby Lobby gorgeous trim for the spines because it's bumpy because of the pearls but for a journal cover 
or on the spine. Wouldn't that be pretty? Got a whole bolt of that on clearance. And I think I showed you guys already the other trims last time. Um, and I got this top, which doesn't fit me. I don't think I showed this to you yet, but isn't that beautiful for the lace? So I can, um, this is just tacked on. Beautiful what, leaves, pretty covered buttons. And the, the trim on the bottom is gorgeous. So I can harvest that. And at Gallatin Cares. I got some cool things. This is a picture frame, and I thought, wouldn't that be pretty on the cover for the cover of a journal and have a cabinet card or something in there? I thought it was really cute and would be pretty for like a shabby chic kind of look. Then I got whatever this was. I've already taken it apart. <laughs> I don't remember what was on there. It had to have been a frame. Oh, it goes in there. Hello. That tells me the size. And this would go behind it. I am not behind. Look at this. I love the red truck. And you don't see it often um, without being related to Christmas. So I love that picture. So I'm going to hang that in my craft room. Then... Someone I know, and I cannot for the life of me remember who it is, collects, um, sorry for the noise, tea bag, tea bag, yeah, everybody collects tea bags, um, teapots, and I got this at Gallatin Cares for $3, and I just think it's beautiful, look at the roses, it is uh, Crown Oaks Designs, New York, New York, made in England. Isn't that pretty? It's got one little chip place right there is all. And there's the lid. So pretty. Maybe that's supposed to be like that. I don't know. But I just thought it was gorgeous. And if I can remember who collects teapots, this will be for them. If not, I will store something in it. And look, it's even got the little leaf, leaves on the um, spout. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle. Here is my spout. Isn't that cute? Love it. Then... Sorry, simply again at Hobby Lobby on clearance. I got this was eighteen dollars for this distress embossing glaze, and I got it for four fifty. I was like score. This was a dollar fifty for these. I love these little things. I got the um, pom pom trim in the red. This was two bucks a roll. It was not on sale, but that's a good price. Another um, of these. I love that. Another of those. And then I got these pretty colors. The greens. Again, they were regular $18. $18. And I got these for $1.50. Love, hope, faith, trust, peace, grace, and thankful. They are so pretty. Love those. This is some alcohol ink for 99 cents. And this is burnt, <coughs> burnt sienna. <coughs> Excuse me. So I could make some um, old tape. And this is Distress Oxide Spray. $12. I got it for $8. First, or $2.99. I can't really remember which it is. But it was a good deal. <laughs> Of course, two ninety nine be even better. And I got these hair clips, which I like to use in journals for paper. I mean, like paper clips. 
um, they had these like 60% off or 40% 40, 40 off. I can't remember, but they were cheap, really inexpensive. Some um, lemon, alcohol ink, and gold. Then I got these. I think these were half off. I love cameos. See. They're so pretty. And last but not least, another burnt sienna and the alcohol ink. So that's all of my Hobby Lobby stuff. I have to figure out somewhere to put it. And I'm just going to leave that over there. And what else do I have to show you guys? You know I have lots of stuff. I've got... I don't remember if I've shown you these or not. So I'm just going to show you. I got these. Heartwarming vintage booklets. Altered alphabets and more. And I got these. I think at a thrift store. Isn't that pretty? The earth laughs and flowers. Look at how pretty. Gorgeous these are. Alphabets. So it's the alphabet, but in the very back there's a few pictures. And then this one is some more that um that one's divine. This one's altered. So it's more up my alley. Insanity is hereditary. You get it from your kids. Instead of yours, it says, you get it from you kids. Then you got all the cool letters. So that is cool. Really like that. And... I think I've already shown you my other trims that I got. I was looking in the video. Yep, I've already shown you those. So, that is my hash. Oh, wait, wait, wait. These. I got these at Gallatin Cares. Just a few little things. It's a pretty, um, not that gorgeous? It's about like a hair barrette. But, of course, I'm not going to use it for that. So, I love the flowers. These itty-bitty heart earrings. And these little rhinestone somethings. So, that's what I got at Gallatin Cares. Didn't find some time. And they have just a few pieces here or there that I pick up um, from there. So, anyway... Thank you for watching. I hope you have a blessed rest of your weekend. Um, I am filming this at 4 in the morning <laughs> on Saturday and because I couldn't sleep. So um, I want you to have a wonderful weekend. Be sure to um, be sure to well, I've lost my thought. Anywho. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a blessed weekend. Remember that God loves you and so do I. And I hope that you will be in church tomorrow worshiping the Lord. I will be. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.